You can come to me for honesty. This is hilarious. I just got a dollar and one cent tip from someone who has an insane conspiracy theory about why one of my moderators in the chat is stepping down. It's not true at all. The moderator in the chat is stepping down um, of their own free will uh, because they have some stuff going on uh, in their life and they cannot be a full-time mod anymore. It's that simple. Um, so I have no idea what this person's getting at. All right, but I got a dollar tip. So I'll say thank you for the dollar tip and we'll move on. Those are little conspiracy theories. So a moderator of mine who's been a moderator for about two years says, oh, I can't do it full time anymore. Every once in a while I'll stop by, but you know, I got to kind of, you know, step down. Okay, great. Good luck in everything in your life. You've been an amazing mod. You helped out a ton of people. Everyone likes you. Good stuff, man. Um, so, okay, and then immediately the conspiracy theories have to start. Why would the mod be stepping down? Blah, blah, blah. Stupid shit. He says, Phil, school recently shut down because of the virus. Pretty crazy how it's becoming like an actual scary problem. I should be fine, but still freaky. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. How is life going to freeze because of this virus? I mean, eventually the virus is going to spread. So maybe we should just spread it and just, you know, make sure that everyone's okay. I don't know what else to say. Like, no, you don't. I mean, obviously you don't want to spread it purposely. Don't get people sick. You know what I mean? But the flu, the reason that we, we survived the flu is because the flu every year we have a season. It goes widespread. We build up an immunity to it. And now we don't worry about it anymore. Okay. Is there a flu? Yes. Do we want to get it? No. But if you get it, it's not the end of the world. Right now we're so afraid of coronavirus because of the elderly and those people with weakened immunity, uh, immune systems can actually die from it at a pretty high rate from what I'm to understand, depending on how bad off they are. That's the real concern. And it almost seems to me, I talked about it on the, on the earth stream earlier that it seems to me that eventually the coronavirus is going to be a name like the flu or, you know, uh, what was the other one? Basically all these different sicknesses that pass around and we kind of get used to them being around. This is like the big one that's happening. And it's like a big scare about it. And it's like, well, how long? Okay, don't go to school. For how long? School has to resume at some point. Oh, go to the store and, and, and you know, buy up all the commodities. But what about people who actually ran out and need them, and you're sitting on 42 cases of water because you're an asshole, right? Like, at some point, this has to break. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm definitely not the right person to ask because I'm not a medical official. But to me, it's kind of crazy that... Oh, just cancel everything. Okay, just cancel life. Like, because there's a virus now, we're not going to live? I, I don't understand that, you know? Um, I mean, we just have to figure out a way to live and not get sick rather than cancel everything. I don't know, man. I'm Call, call me confused and crazy. I don't know. Oh, my God. The common intelligence level of the common gamer. Oh, my God. Chunky Jack, I wasn't toxic earlier. You were. You were demanding that I interact with you on a Mega Man stream when I was trying to concentrate and uh, and not die, which is pretty daunting of a task in any Mega Man game, especially Zero Two, was pretty challenging at the time. <laughs> it's very toxic. And you were pre being pretty uh, demanding. It wasn't very cool of you, quite frankly. It was a little annoying. So when these chili cups, can we tip you in toilet paper? I mean, it might come to that because I might not have another way to get it. So maybe you guys should have to send me rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> Excuse me. Missing WD-40, you're now an idiot and you're out of here. Seriously. You're a complete idiot. Why am I toxic? You wanna know who's toxic? You wanna know who's fucking toxic? Your parents. Cause they're letting you use the fucking internet and say dumb shit on the internet cause I know you're like fucking eight years old. Review Tech USA? He did? Well that sucks. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, as I've said many, many times, there's, there's trolling. And then there's breaking the law and seriously risking the well-being of someone. And that's where swatting falls into. It is not a laughing matter. It's not something to be joked about, uh, talked about in, a, in a, any kind of a light manner at all. It's not fucking funny. It's definitely, basically, if you're swatting someone, you're trying to physically get them hurt. And whoever did that, if this is true, should go straight to fucking jail no due process. Just slam it right in the slammer. Now, of course, obviously, due process and get the right person, but uh, it's fucked up. It's absolutely one million percent fucked up, and uh, you know that should never happen to anyone. No one should be swatted ever. I guess when people say I laugh like a snake, that's it. When I do like that, I guess that's laughing like a snake. And I, I, I realize I've probably been doing that a lot more. I don't know why. You know what happens is as you get older, your mannerisms change, and I have noticed that. Is that you know in the eleven plus years I've been doing content creation. You know, when I first used to laugh, I go, <laughs> high pitch. I can't even do that anymore. <clears throat> My throat doesn't even allow me to do that high pitched laugh like I used to do. I can't even do it anymore. So then I, I changed my laugh to like, 
Or, you know, and if people are like, oh, he sounds like an ack, acting when he laughs. So now it sounds like I hiss when I laugh. I go, <laughs> like that. Probably because it's easier to do. It's more consistent, right? Oh! What the? Whoa! Yeah! You could be fuck? Jesus Christ! I do not do... Wow! Wow! Wow, guys! Whoa! I don't do any of that stupid shit. To guide a future Minecraft stream, in addition to that, uh, like I said, if we get the tips gold for tonight, I'll put the vest on. So, obviously, if you want to see maximum vestage, you're going to want to hit that tips goal as soon as possible. If we double the tips total for tonight, if we make $200 of tips tonight, I will put on the vest and the cowboy hat at the same time. How about that shit? How about that shit? Thank you, I killed Phil for the dollar tip. By the way, I don't. considering we're almost an hour into the stream and I've only raised $10 in tips, I don't think we're reaching either of those ridiculously over-the-top goals for tonight. So just under an hour left on the stream, folks. Just so everyone knows, just under an hour left. If we raise $1,000 in the next hour on my Minecraft stream, I will hop on one foot and sing Kumbaya while I'm wearing the vest and the cowboy hat. How about that? <laughs> Just stupid the shit is. The thing is, I'm not kidding you. They're like Twitch streamers that this is what happens and this is what they do. And they make the money too. Like, it's insane. Like, why? <laughs> they just pull stunts constantly on a stream and people will toss money their way for pulling a crazy stunt. No! No! He's dead. I can't save him. I couldn't save him. I'm very upset right now. I'm very upset. I'm like speechless. I know I have contributions to give shout outs for, but I'm very upset. I'm an animal lover and I'm very, very fucking upset. I know it wasn't a real animal, but still. I'm ang I'm very, very pissed. I'm not happy at all. I'm very, very upset. Now Sigmund Fruit cheered and said, if you were a 6'4 young muscly, would you be a wrestler? What type would you be? <laughs> Thanks for the cheer. I'm not even answering. It's just uh, the dumbest stuff this guy says. Why am I toxic? We still have time for someone else to beat him out. I've also said that... It, oh, fuck. Look at this. I've also said that if we hit the tips goal for tonight, I'll put the vest on. However, we're only at $30 in tips. And, uh, you know, we're not even close. So, it's not looking too likely for that right now, sadly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to confirm. But I believe I just received an anonymous $170 tip. Okay. I'm going to try to confirm this. I want to make sure this is real. Because <laughs> when I get something giant like that, obviously, I want to make sure it's real. All right. Let me double, double check. I believe it is real. Holy shit, is this real? Oh. Uh, huh. Well. If this is real, this is a hell of a way to start off today's stream, folks. I'm a man of my word, so hold on a second here, everybody. I told you I'm a man of my word. What did I say I was going to do? <clears throat> First the vest. And then... Gasper knocked the cowboy hat down. <laughs> yeah, look, there's cat hair. Oh, God. There's cat hair all over my cowboy hat. Jasper must have been... In, it was in the closet, and he must have knocked it down. And it is covered in hair. Oh, man. Oh my god, yeah, is it covered in hair? Fuck. He must have been rubbing against it. He must have loved the feeling because it has a felt felt feeling to it. He probably loved it. He rubbed all over it. God damn. Well, alrighty then. Good lord. Alright. So. I said I would do it. I did it, god damn it. We doubled the tip's goal for the night. Thank you for that $170 tip anonymous tipper. Wherever you may be. Let me get you up on the leaderboard here. No? <laughs> Shopping Cursor is going to have a good old Oklahoma barbecue sauce, boy. Yeah, boy. Paint that barbecue on, baby. I feel that, um, you know, I have never made children's content. Number one, I always use strong adult language. Number two, as you guys see, I frequently play uh, games that are not, you know, E for everyone. Even though every once in a while I do, a lot of the games I play are either teen or mature or whatever. Um, I certainly don't dress up like a cartoon character. I don't act like a fool purposely to attract children. It's never been my goal. Wow, woo, wow, woo, woo, wow. I'm sorry to say, but all these people, as I said, 
who literally dress up to look like cartoon characters, who act like cartoon characters, uh, are they making content for kids? Dude, did you look at the fucking mirror, you stupid Muppet? If we hit a thousand dollars in tips tonight, I would hop on one foot and sing Kumbaya. I did say that. I had no... I, not that I'm expecting it, but I had no idea that someone would actually tip that much and, you know, to wear the vest and the cowboy hat. So, holy shit, I might as well just throw that out there, too. I did say that. Okay, now let's continue. I just received a $96 tip from somebody else, anonymous tipper. <laughs> Rock the Ice Cheers, so how many bits for you to do the Kiki Challenge? I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't do silly challenges, so... <gasps> Cheer, and it said, would you shave one of your legs for a thousand dollar tip? Yes! Of course I would, that's silly. Shaving a leg is so silly, it's nothing big, it's not a big deal, and no one would see it anyway. Like, who would care if one leg was shaven? No one would notice. I would shave my leg for a thousand dollar tip. That's very, very stupid. No amount of bits. Nothing would work.